Mr. Goddard, I'd like to have a chat with you before you go home, if that's okay. Okay, Doc. I really don't think I'm ready to go home, but they must want the bed, I guess. I know, it's hard to go home when you don't think you're ready, but I think we've done all we can here in hospital. We need to look at how you can manage things at home now. Well, that's exactly why I'm worried. I know you can't cure the COPD, and I know I haven't got a chest infection anymore. It's just that I get very breathless, even when I do the smallest thing, like walking to the bathroom. Unfortunately, you were exposed to asbestos when you were working in the dockyards, and the fact that you were and are still a heavy smoker means that your health has been affected quite badly. The asbestos wasn't my fault, and I guess the smoking wasn't entirely my fault either. They almost encouraged us to smoke. It was certainly a lot cheaper then. I was hooked very quickly, and look where it's got me. Yes, it must be very difficult for you. Can we talk about some things which you may be able to do to help when you get home? Is there anything I can do to help with the breathlessness? Firstly, I'm going to arrange for you to take a nebulizer home, so you can use it every day. It's just like the one that the nurses have been using with you while you've been in hospital. Oh, right. Yes, it seems to work better than using the inhalers. That's right. Before you go, the nurses will explain to you how to use the nebulizer. The other thing I'd like to talk to you about is making some lifestyle changes. Lifestyle changes? What do you mean? I'd like to talk about the possibility of reducing the amount you smoke. It would obviously be a good idea if you could quit smoking altogether, but I realise that it's probably not practical. I can't tell you how many times I've tried to give up, but when I do, I get very anxious and angry. You know, not good to be around. Smoking is a very difficult thing to give up. How many cigarettes do you smoke a day at the moment? Well, around 50 a day. No, if I'm honest, it's more like 60 a day. I'm not proud of it, I can tell you. I appreciate your being honest with me. Would you be willing to cut down? Even reducing the number of cigarettes you smoke each day by a few will make a big difference in the long run. What do you think? You mean cut down bit by bit? That's right. Have you tried any of the quit smoking programmes? They're quite good for keeping you motivated. I did try a programme once. Then I thought I could do it myself. You know, go cold turkey. I'll write a prescription for the gum for you and add it to your discharge medications. Yes, OK. I could give it a try. We'd like to see you at the pulmonary rehabilitation clinic in a month's time, if that's OK. Just to see how you're managing with the nebulizer and the gum. And to check if you've been able to cut down at all. Can you make sure that you see the ward clerk before you leave and get an appointment for the clinic? Thanks. Sure. Thanks, Doc. I'll see you at the clinic.